So we're heading up the road. You can see in the back, the mountains in the background. Um, and we're just looking for some colder weather. We've been locked in anywhere from zero to minus 20. And so it's kind of zapped our energy and we've been getting cabin fever. For two it, weeks. For two weeks, <laughs> yeah. Basically since the 26th or so of uh, December, it's been uh, in the sub-zero range. And it hasn't been impressive where we live, but we decided instead of going to warmer weather, we're going to colder weather. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can find some cold weather. Right now, I have a little thermometer here. You can see, but it's uh, minus 10, minus nine right now. And we're looking for 40 below. The kids have never seen 40 below before. They've seen maybe 30 below, 32 below. And we wanna go, I used to live in Fairbanks and um, in fact, Heather and I met in Fairbanks, and I used to go play in uh, 40 below temps and do all kinds of neat things, like throw water up, uh, boiling water up in the air, and do some other tricks and stuff that we're gonna show you today. And we want the kids to experience that. So we're heading north and east to Glen Allen to see if we can find that 40 below without making a huge drive up to the interior like Fairbanks or Tokyo or any of places like that. So it's not as far of a drive for us. So we're going for 40 below and we'll keep you posted. Stunning out here this morning. Beautiful. Like, oh, just absolutely gorgeous. We've seen like four moose. The hair tracks are just thick through here. But the crazy thing is, it's only nine below right here. We're looking for 40 below. <laughs> that could be a problem. <laughs> I am sure the temp is gonna start dropping. <laughs> Minus 16, right? It's got to. Minus 17. Oof, the white is hurting my eyes. Minus 14, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> Did have I videotaped it just for a second <laughs> and it went from minus 14 to minus 22. To 25. How, how, how did it do that? Minus 14 to my, that's 11 degree shift. This temperature still says minus 16. Get with the there times. Go, minus 30. Minus 29. We gotta get, we gotta it. get minus 40, 11 degrees. It just oh, dumped 11 degrees okay, here. Hang on, hang on, here's a good hole. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Just go. Sorry. Maybe it'll drop 10 degrees like what it did before, 28 to 38, come on. Maybe it'll go up to 14, below. Oh, I was so hopeful. Well, at least it didn't. Couldn't do it. Uh, it probably will. Maybe it won't. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Minus 33. Minus 33. It just took that long to catch up. Five. Maybe we should have parked in that hole. <laughs> it's amazing the temperature fluctuations you can hey have. Hey guys, who thinks it's going to happen? Minus 35, come on. You can do it. It's no. not gonna do it. No. no. It, it like cannot go to minus minus 35, yeah. okay, when well, we go across it's into like the, the shadow. Maybe the truck can't go colder than minus 35. You guys ever think that? 40, and we just don't know it. Not gonna do it. 
36. Oh, 36. oh it's not broken. Thirty-seven. Stop down there. No. <laughs> Minus thirty-seven. <laughs> We're looking for forty below. I think that might be our bottom number there. Oh. <laughs> womp womp womp. You don't want me to go back and stop in that hole? Because I bet you it is minus forty. No. It'll be minus 40 up here. When we get into minus 40, we'll be into minus 40. Or at least okay. minus 39. Heading down into Copper Center. It's minus 40. We found our minus 40. And uh, right down in here is the uh, Clutina River. It's a really good King Salmon River in the summer. And right now it's mostly froze over. You can see all the hoar frost on the on the trees. It's absolutely beautiful. The river water is still open. And uh, it's quite a rapid river. Hoar frost on the trees. Really, really cool. Okay, really still and cold and ice foggy. Kind of misty looking. Beautiful down here by the Copper River. You guys, this is kind of a little bit of a part of your history if you don't realize it. This is where great grandma, or this is where, yeah, great grandma and grandpa came when they first came in here. Right here, you guys, they moved it. It used to be up on the hill, but that is the church that your great grandpa helped build when he first came here in 1942. Wow, that's cool. 1941 or 42. Yeah. So it is 40 below out. Claudia, did you feel like and uh, we are at Old Town Copper Center. And it is just gorgeous out. We're going to go find a spot to fly the drone. We're going to run in here and use the bathroom. Maybe get some hot chocolates or something. But he's suit up. Sun's coming through. Woo. Let's do so this. we went for a little clearer spot to make it prettier. It's only 36 below here, but we found our 40 below. And uh, the water will, will fizz and make the sound and everything at 36 below too. So we're gonna do it. So I have my drone, it's 36 below zero and we're gonna take a flight to videotape us. Right here I have some hot hands. I am going to tape these on and hopefully they stay on. Hopefully your this tape could doesn't wreck freeze. My, my drone, so we're going to have to be really careful not to fly above anything that we don't want the drone to crash on. Okay, you want to do it? Okay, come over here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> hey, three, two, one, go. <laughs>
Oh, so cold. <laughs> Everybody's freezing I now. And that was all of like how many I minutes? Warm enough. Luke, 15. What say you? I had a glove, a pair of gloves under another pair of gloves under a huge pair of gloves. <laughs> And I did not know that I'd get so close. The food coloring was a bad idea. Well, we thought it'd be fun, but it kind of ruined all of our gear. And it also <laughs> cooled the water down, so it wasn't as impressive. It really sizzles when you can get it boiling. Except for my brand new snow pants. I'm gonna try some bubbles. Oops. They always pop. <laughs> it's probably because the way the wind's blowing. Okay, so this is the bubble blowing. Ooh, oh my goodness, it went so far up I couldn't see it. Here it comes back. It's coming, it's coming back, back down. Back. It's a solid wow. bubble now. I guarantee you that's solid. Get up on it. Look at that thing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there they go. It's hard because the wind's kind of coming in here a little bit. Oh, oh, they're dead. Mama, down my window, Mom. It's freezing. It's freezing. Oh, that is cool. That it's like a little tumbleweed. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> Which end are you doing? You gotta do the round end. That one doesn't work good. Trust me, I tried. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they, they take They're, off. Oh, that one froze so fast. <laughs> in the shade that you can bring your hands to the pavement. Oh, dang it, failed. Why? It came out too fast. Well, it's certainly freezing to the pavement. <laughs> Mustard or Christmassy color? No. We're golden. Be quiet. Stop, look out. Oh no, our poor egg. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, no, it survived. It. Hey. Oh no. Hey, buddy. Hey. It survived hey. again. It survived. It survived. It survived. <laughs> Jake's checking on the egg. Yep, it's pretty froze. Pop it. Pop it. Oh, the yolk's not froze yet. It's still, it's still not. It's over it, medium. It's, it's over easy right now. <laughs> over medium egg. We'll make it over well and call it good. Oh, oh I'll have to spatula that up. <laughs> um. We are freezing an egg on the sidewalk. It's so cold today. That egg is totally froze to the sideway. 36 below. Look at that egg. Couldn't even get it there and it cooked. Yeah, go ahead and feel it. Oh, that's rock solid. You gotta get... Oh! Destroyed! That one didn't, nothing happened to that one. 
what a view. Well, we had some fun in the cold weather. Still want to blow some bubbles. That was loads of fun. But we all got freezing cold. Our toes, our hands, Still everything. Warming. Super yeah. cold. Were you cold, Beth? Stuck out yeah. everywhere it, it was so cold. cold. Our you hair could went freeze crazy. an egg to the sidewalk. <laughs> so, anyways, we came up on the Copper River 300, and uh, everybody's out racing their dogs. Really cool, and it's really cold out. 31 below. That has got to be just frigid out there. Well, at least they're getting warmer. 29 below. Yay! No, not the engine rod. It's like the Copper River Basin 300, 300 or something. Yay! We caught. We caught. Yeah, they, yeah, they win, win money. Yeah. Yeah. They win they're money. They're racing. Like yeah. A smaller race than the Iditarod, but it's still really cool, you guys. How and fun. it's really cool that we caught up How to them. How fun that we got to see them. Okay, here. Yeah. Here's more. We'll probably go up to the top of the hill and let them come past. Come us. past us. Wave. Look at that! Woo! So we're coming up the highway there with Mount Drum in the background. Turns out there's a sled dog race today. The Copper River Basin 300, I guess. The Copper River 300. And uh, just a really cool thing to see. Cold day to be running dogs. As you saw earlier in our video, we're hitting 40 below in some spots. So... That little bit of wind makes a big difference. I'm shivering, actually. Here they come. Very cool. So that uh, Copper River, ba that Copper Basin 300 is a sled race for dog sled race, and a lot of uh, a number of Iditarod uh, people that are really good in Iditarod, like uh, uh, Mitch CV is running it, Ali Zirkel, Nicholas Petit, they are all running the Copper Basin 300. So it's kind of a a uh, pretty uh, popular race for the mushers. Well, the temperature has warmed up and we are getting into the mountains. Gun sight is beautiful tonight. You can see it. It looks like the sight of a gun. Got a little notch in the top. What a pretty day. What a fun day. Playing with the cold weather. It's only minus seven now. So we're getting a lot warmer. But got to see some mushers and we got to have a good time. Freezing eggs, freezing bubbles, and freezing boiling water in the air. And freezing fingers and toes. And freezing fingers and toes.